It's possible this amplifier could define the NAD brand as much as the original 3020 did 35 years ago. The D3020 is a forward-looking design that not only includes digital inputs, but Aptex Bluetooth connectivity too. The latter opens up this amplifier for use with laptops, smartphones and tablets, important as so many people use these devices as at least one of their music sources. The D3020 looks right at home next to a desktop computer, where its carefully developed headphone output pays dividends. But equally, it could fit unobtrusively on a TV stand delivering really good stereo sound from, say, a satellite box into a set of speakers. Of course, it'll fit on a traditional hi-fi rack too, but the point here is that the amp's size and shape allows a great deal of freedom in use. This little unit outputs just 30 watts per channel, but as with the original, it sounds far more authoritative than that modest figure suggests. So the balance of the sound is smooth and solid, even if you listen to quite highly compressed audio files, but given a high quality file to play with, it really performs. Just as importantly, the NAD manages to keep the track enjoyable, displaying plenty of finesse with Eminem's rapid fire delivery and a firm grip on the song's rhythmic elements. Move up to 24-bit 96 kHz material in the form of Kate Bush's Amongst Angels and the D3020 responds with plenty of detail, a nice sense of delicacy and the kind of top-to-bottom cohesion even its very best rivals struggle to match. How do you take admired, successful integrated amplifiers, amplifiers respected and acclaimed all around the world, and make them even better? That's the question that faced the engineering team at our London HQ when they set about creating the second series of our renowned CX range. It starts with listening to what came before and working out where progress is possible. The first step was to completely overhaul the digital input stage. CX amplifiers have always been designed to be equally adept with both digital and analog sources, but the quality of performance from digital sources is always improving. Digital to analog converters, DACs for short, are improving all the time too. Our engineers specified ESS Sabre DACs because of their support for higher resolution digital files, their incredible precision and their super low jitter. The CXA61 features the brilliant ES9010 K2M DAC and the CXA81 has the amazing ES9016 K2M chip. So digital information coming into these amps is precise, accurate and perfectly organised. It's not all about the DACs though. CXA61 now has a class 2 USB input, just like the CXA81. So both amplifiers are capable of supporting 32-bit 384kHz PCM files and DSD256 from a Mac or a PC. Built-in Bluetooth reception is another important digital upgrade. Thanks to Aptex HD support for high-res 24-bit 48 kilohertz, CXA owners can say goodbye to optional Bluetooth dongles and hello to a fast, convenient, and high-performance connection. From a sound perspective, both amplifiers have undergone extensive tuning, receiving upgraded capacitors and op-amps, and this painstaking engineering work has contributed hugely the emotive, engaging, and class-leading sound of the new CX amplifiers. CXA61, for example, is a punchy and upfront listen, delivering your entire music collection with dynamism and excitement. It has the openness, detail, and precision it needs to give you a complete audio picture. But this fidelity isn't at the expense of enjoyment. CXA61 hits hard, but with complete control. And as a result, it has the drive and attack to make your music sound thrillingly alive. It's no blunt instrument, though. Whenever music takes a turn for the subtle or the more contemplative, CXA61 has the detail retrieval and the low-level dynamic prowess to communicate harmonic information in the most natural and emotionally engaging manner. And the CXA81 is the same, yet somehow even more so. The sort of music you like to listen to makes no difference to this amplifier. It's a master of tone and texture. It never overlooks even the finest details. It's able to communicate the most affecting elements of a recording in the most direct and unforced manner imaginable. Every way in which music is most elemental, no matter if that's bass so deep and solid you can feel it, or a voice so eloquent it raises goosebumps, or a full orchestra all bearing down on a composition as a single entity, the CXA81 puts you right at the heart of it. If ever a piece of electronic equipment could be said to be moving, on the most basic level, CXA81 is it. It's no wonder that it was recently named Stereo Amplifier of the Year at the 2019 Watt Hi-Fi Awards. Both CXA61 and CXA81 sound exactly like what they are. 
the result of hour upon hour of endeavour by engineers striving to bring you the most complete music picture possible. You can find out more about how this was achieved at cambridgeaudio.com or hear for yourself at your local Cambridge Audio dealer. Introducing the new Marantz Melody X all-in-one system. Encounter the embodiment of high-quality audio in a small cabinet. Experience the perfect alliance of power and musicality. Discover the signature design and audio excellence carrying the renowned Marantz spirit. Explore the unique sonic richness with four powerful amplifiers built in. Connect two pairs of speakers with separate volume control or tie all power to drive even demanding floor stand models. The Melody X is the blueprint of versatility. Listen to every source you like, your favorite CD, your latest streaming playlist. Even enhance the sound of your TV. You can also seamlessly integrate the Melody X in your Heos multi-room universe and conveniently control it with your voice. The Marantz Melody X all-in-one system. Amplify your passion. Hi there, and in this video we're going to be taking a look around the new A9110 budget stereo amplifier from Onkyo. And as you can see, it gets its looks from its big brother, the A9130. But first, let's take a look over the front panel to see what we're getting. Across the front of the 9110 we've got a recessed standby button, there's an IR receiver eye, we've got bass treble and balance which can be used just for minor tweaking to get the sound just the way you want it, there's a motorised volume control, there's a pure direct button, now this will actually completely defeat the bass, treble and balance. And then there's the phase matching bass. So PM bass or phase matching bass, what does it actually do? The best way to think of it is like an intelligent loudness control. And we all know that loudness controls tend to be used at low volumes to help fill out the sound. Now the major drawback with using a loudness control is that you get a phase shift in the low frequencies. And these problems can occur even up to 300 hertz. And this in turn is detrimental to one of the most important areas, which is the vocals. And essentially everything becomes blurry and muddy with a lack of detail. But PM Bass has been designed to eliminate all of this muddiness, which allows everything to snap sharply back into focus. So carrying on with the front panel, we've got a very simple, elegant input display which is accompanied by a rotary input dial. You just spin it round till you get to the input that you want. It's as easy as that. And then lastly for the front panel, we've got a headphone socket. And for the metric among you, it's 6.35 millimeters, or for the Imperial among you, that's a quarter inch. 9110's remote allows you to control all of the parts of the amplifier. Not only that, using our proprietary RI link, you can actually control one of our CD players as well. Now I think we've covered everything across the front, so now it's time that we went round to the back panel and take a look at all the connections. Now first up is the dedicated moving magnet phono input. Then we have four line level inputs and a line output. We've also got a pre-out for a subwoofer and our speaker connections for left and right. Speaker binding posts will actually accept 4mm banana plugs but you have to remove the safety plugs first. This can be done really simply by just using a pair of pliers that you can just pop out the plugs. This then gives you the option of using banana plugs or alternatively, you can unwind the posts and use normal bare wire. Now the 9110 boasts 50 watts per channel using our RAP amplification. And I will be doing a separate video talking and discussing about what RAT amplification actually is support the RAT amplification there's a massive EL transformer inside along with custom capacitors for the best possible sound quality. Now, I think that covers everything that you need to know about the A9110. If you've enjoyed this video please hit the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Combine the integrated amplifier with the CD player and network audio player for an elevated hi-fi experience. Advanced circuitry reduces unwanted interference for clean, transparent sound. Enjoy powerful audio with musical fidelity. Advanced Denon processing restores lost data in digital recordings. 
Hear highly detailed sound in your CDs and MP3s and enjoy the purity of high-res formats. A premium build and rigorous component testing eliminates microphonic effects, protecting the overall sound quality. The two-channel amplifier with digital inputs and a built-in phono equalizer handles a wide range of high-resolution audio sources, whether you listen to CDs, lossless file formats, or your cherished vinyl collection. Connect the amplifier to the CD player to enjoy audio playback from your CDs. Plug in your USB storage device and listen to high-res files with signal purity. Stream music over Wi-Fi, AirPlay 2, Bluetooth, or the Heos app to enjoy your favorite music services from any of your connected smart devices with gapless playback. Step into the world of premium hi-fi with the Denon 800 series, the pinnacle choice for hi-fi enthusiasts.